Hey everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products online at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Today we're going to be working from the new Essential Food Photography Action Set. And right now I'm working in Photoshop Creative Cloud, but um, if you're working in an earlier version, this process is going to be the same. Also, Elements users, this product is available for Elements versions 11 through 13. And the process is going to be exactly the same for you guys as well. So let's get started. I have an image open and I have my actions panel open here. The actions that I want to show you today are going to start with brighten the shadows. So we're going to choose that and press play. You can see nothing happens. I designed it this way to make it quick, quick for you to um, go ahead and take up the opacity slider to whatever level that you need. So you can see as I raise the opacity level of the action, the shadows are getting lighter. You can raise it to whatever level looks good to you and actually a hundred percent is looking good to me now. The one thing that I don't like is um, the effect on the wood that doesn't look natural so I'm going to go ahead and mask it off. I'm going to choose the white layer mask and make sure that I have the brush tool selected and a black foreground color. The black is going to conceal the effect and then um, uh, sometimes I might lower the opacity of the brush, but today I'm going to keep it at 100% for this action, and I'm just going to brush off the effect on the wood. Now, if you find that when you're brushing off, it is um, spilling over onto parts that you don't want to take the effect off of, go ahead and change your brush hardness. I'm going to just change it to 60 or so percent, and then I'm going to continue to brush off the effect. Now I went over onto the plate area, so I'm just going to switch to a white foreground color, make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to zoom in and just make sure that I put the effect back on the plate. Okay, so that looks good for what we're doing now. This is lighten the shadows, brighten the shadows. And the next thing that I want to do is give it a big bright boost. So I'm going to choose that one and press play. Now that's going to just make it a little bit brighter. If it's too much for you, you can lower the opacity or you can raise the opacity depending. That looks pretty good to me. Um, the orange looks really washed out, so I'm going to just play Bold Color Boost. That looks good to me as it is, but again, you can adjust this, and if it's too bright on one area, you can mask it off, just as we did with Light in the Shadows. Um, the next thing that I want to do with this is probably Highlight Pop. And press Play. Um, you can see this effect is a little bit too much on um, the area where the light is coming from. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it up a tiny bit, focusing on this area, making sure that looks right. And that looks right to me. Um, it does not look right on this area, so I'm going to mask it off by choosing the layer mask, making sure my brush tool is selected and switching to a black foreground color. And I'm going to make the brush big and I'm going to lower the hardness back down to zero. And I'm just going to hit the side of the plate to even things out. Maybe just right there as well. Let's just take a look at that. So before and the after a little bit brighter. Okay, so this image is looking pretty good to me, um, but I have one more thing to show you, and that is under the creative section, it's called Orange Boost. Um, by choosing this action, it's going to give you a much richer orange color. So we're going to choose that and press play, and you can see um, the color of the oranges changed from really bland to really rich. This isn't going to affect any of the other colors in the image except for the oranges. It's an isolated effect, um, so it's really easy to use. And 
If you find that it's not quite enough, you can always duplicate this layer by um, right clicking and choose duplicate layer. It'll double the effect if that's what you're after. That looks like a little bit too much to me, but I can lower it, bring it back up a little. Okay, that's it. Let's check the before and the after. That's the before and that's the after. And actually, to me, it looks a little bit too orange, so I'll probably take that layer off. And that's the before and that's the after. You can find all of our products, including Essential Food Photography Actions, at www.magicandlightcollection.com.